evening welcome to another episode of today's channel and today we'll be going through a very easy and affordable homemade fruit cake recipe i'm very sure you have heard about fruit cake so today we'll be going through how you can get started on your fruit cake even if you don't have so much and it's very 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 nice watch me as we go into the video so in here we have 750 grams of butter margarine we have this is a browning this is a mixture of golden syrup and black syrup we have our eggs we have our baking powder we have our fruits we have our flour then we have our sugar don't worry i'll give you details of everything the measurement i used in the description down below so that you'll be able to understand it when you want to do yours so the first thing i'm going to be doing for, because i want this cake to come out fluffy so the first thing I'm going to be doing is to cream. I'll slightly cream the margarine for five to seven minutes. And when I'm done with that, I'll turn in the sugar. So the margarine has been creaming for five minutes now. And I'll add in our sugar. This is granulated sugar. Then I'll continue. Mixing or creaming as it is with you. If you don't have a stand mixer or a hand mixer, you could actually use a whisk, a very strong whisk, or you could use a wooden spatula. Either of them, not compulsory, you must have a mixer just in case you don't have a mixer. I've been creaming this for 25 minutes now and as you can see it has already doubled in volume and it has slightly become pale in color so that's actually what we want to achieve so after then I'll stop it and introduce my egg now there are actually different methods to this but the method I'll be using is alternating the egg and the flour mixture do you get that alternating because some people would actually pour everything and pour the flow but this method i'm going to be using i would have to be alternating it so i have to pour my baking soda baking powder rather into my flour give it a good mix a uh, mix i've actually sieved both so both my dry ingredients i've sieved the both of them so now the first thing i'll pour maybe one fourth of what i have here Now you can see that I reduced the, I have to reduce the mixer. That's because I'm going to be introducing flour. So I would not use the high, I'm using a medium, I'm, I'm working on medium speed. I'm not working on high speed so that the cake doesn't come out things because I want it to be fluffy. So after I've incorporated my egg and I feel I'm good to go, the next thing to do is to introduce the flow. I'm engaging everything, so I'll give you the measurements. Now, some people feel, or some people have this belief that if you use your mixer when you're introducing your flow, the cake won't come out well. Well, I don't know how true that is, but this is how I've been doing mine over the years, and I've never regretted doing it this way because the cake will still come out as fluffy as expected so this is what i will do all through until i've exhausted my egg and my flour mix Enjoy the moment. This 
so this is after we've added everything so now the next thing is to add what makes this fruit cake fruit cake as it were so i'll be pouring in my fruit don't worry i'll give you the measurement of everything now in this fruit it has been soaking for over a month so we have a nutmeg we have cinnamon and i have different flavors in it essence different flavors in it then there's alcohol i use any nice brand umbrella squadron brandy any nice brand of your choice and this is the golden syrup and the black syrup okay no okay, sorry that's the brown it is the golden syrup and the black syrup Now you don't need preservative because the alcohol would help preserve the cake for as long as you want. Now if this cake is baked well and you follow the right, you use the right ingredients, it can actually stay outside the fridge for a month and it still taste very fresh. In fact, the beautiful thing about fruit cake is you get to enjoy it better when it's old. The older it gets, the more interesting, the more sweeter, the more delicious it is. So I'll just give it a good mix. Mix, sorry. Then I'll turn it into the pan. I'll show you what the final outcome looks like. So we're done with the mixture. So the next thing is I want to turn it into can see so fine, very beautiful. I want to turn it into the pan. So I have two 7.5 inches and nine inches here. about this butter is that it is so soft already as you can see and my time is out of the oven and you cover it oh my god i'm very sure it's something you would love to try and you come back with good reviews especially if you make use of this particular recipe i am using i don't need this recipe forever it's been giving me a very amazing result. I'm very sure it will be too as well. Okay, so you obviously know that sometimes your hand, your spatula might not get to the base of your mixing bowl whenever you are doing the cake. So that's not a very good thing. Same thing, but you don't properly mix. You just do it slightly. You continue dishing. So you see, 750 grams can actually give us four pans, of which two are nine inches and two are 7.5. So I'm already giving you another secret. All right, so the next thing now is to bake, and I'll come back with the outcome. Thank you. Okay, as you can see, our cake is out of the oven. It is very, very moist very very moist so let's just cut it through and see what it looks like on the inside well just take a good look at it now this is a recipe you should try very moist all right thank you very much for staying tuned to this point Please, if you haven't subscribed, please do so now and turn on the bell notification so that whenever I drop a new video, you'll be notified. See you next week. Thank you.